Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I purchased something new recently. It's a small laminator that I bought on Shopee. The link will be in the description box. This laminating machine cost less than 700 Philippine pesos. I have been resisting buying a laminator for a while because it felt a little too frivolous for me and it, it it wasn't it wasn't very very cheap it's not overly expensive but it's not cheap either and for the cost I felt it was a little you know unnecessary frivolous I mean I didn't want to buy a laminator just to make dividers for my planner and I've had laminated dividers before and to do them I just borrowed someone else's laminator and I have videos showing those dividers and I will link them down below however after having watched so many videos about the disc bound planner system and also quite a few ring bound planner videos I learned that it's not just dividers that I can use the laminator with I can make pouches, I can make envelopes, and not just for me, but also for other people. And this would be a very handy tool to have, especially now that I'm actually preparing for the reopening of my old Etsy store for planner inserts. And I'm thinking about what items to list for sale. So here is the laminator, which cost less than 700 Philippine pesos from Shopee. Now, according to the instructions, this laminator can laminate up to 250 microns, which is nice because I actually thought that this can only handle up to 125 microns. Although I don't really see myself using 250 microns, it's nice to have that option anyway. This machine can also laminate in both hot and cold settings. The hot is for the usual thermal laminating pouches that almost everybody uses and which I will be using for my dividers today and the cold setting is for the matte lamination film. The machine also came with some free laminating pouches but they are small. I decided to laminate a couple of vaccination cards to try out the machine and here they are face down because they have some private information and it laminated very cleanly as you can see. The, the laminating machine's main and only switch is at the front. The switch toggles from hot to cold with the off setting in the middle. And right after switching the button to the hot setting, that button doesn't light up at all right away. But when the machine has reached the right temperature for hot lamination, the switch turns green and that's when you can start feeding in the laminating pouches. And that is the laminating machine that I got just, well, not just to make things for my own discount planner, but also to be able to make more things for other people through my Etsy shop that I hope to reopen soon. If you have been on my channel for a while, you already know that for the dividers on my current disc bound planner, I am using one sheet of tracing paper that's been printed with a scan of some scrapbook papers plus one sheet of PVC over it and it's the PVC that has the tab not the tracing paper. I have a process video showing how I made them and of course I will link it in the description box. I also have another video showing additional dividers that I made out of tracing paper and in that video I showed how the tracing paper curls. Well I decided to join the bandwagon and laminate my dividers. I did not make new dividers, I just used the ones that I have already made out of tracing paper. I put the old PVC sheets aside and kept them in my planner storage box because I might still be able to use them for a different project. So here are the dividers made of tracing paper already laminating using the thermal laminating pouches that everybody used. I have 25 of these dividers for my 25 sections on my planner that I plan to have. Altogether, the entire stack of laminated dividers is 
0.8 centimeters thick more or less or equivalent to 8 millimeters thick. In this video that I'm pulling right here, I showed how thick that stack was. And, well, this new stack of laminated tracing paper dividers is not as thick as that, and I can work with these, definitely. Aside from the curling, another reason I decided to go ahead with the lamination is that the tracing paper does tear. Of course, because it's not protected, it's just paper, and tracing paper is only 90 to 95 GSM, the lamination protects the tracing paper. To hole punch plastic, I always just use a single hole punch because my Happy Planner punch cannot punch plastic. And for that, I use a paper template usually. You have seen me do this before, but the dividers are already hole punched even before the laminating process. So I don't need that template anymore. I just clipped two of the laminated dividers together with binder clips and then created the holes with a single hole punch and a pair of scissors. And by the way, you might notice here that I cut off the excess lamination completely. I did not leave behind that usual narrow extra lamination all over the edge around the paper to seal it because in my opinion, if we are laminating only a single sheet of paper and if we do not need to make the project completely waterproof, we can totally get away with not having that extra few millimeters of lamination at the edge all around the paper. That is just my opinion. Do you have a similar opinion regarding this? Please let me know in the comments. Now, people who laminate things say that running the laminated sheets through the machine again helps to reseal them. I have done that myself when I made my own laminated dividers many years ago, but doing that now, I don't think that extra step actually makes that much of a difference, so I did not continue. For the tabs, I did the layout of these on a basic word processing software on my computer called Pages, which is a software that is native to the Mac. And then I printed it on one sheet of sticker paper. This is just an ordinary one with a yellow release paper at the back. To add an additional protection for the tabs and also to make them glossy to match the laminated tracing paper, I decided to laminate, quote unquote, the tabs using a clear packaging tape. I just laid the tape down over the tabs before cutting the tabs down to their final size. And then when all the tabs have been cut, I folded them in half. I've actually been thinking for a while on what sections to actually have on my planner at this point, and I have a list right here on what sections I do want to have. My list of sections also has a note on which artwork to use. So using that list, I put the dividers in the order that they should go in my planner. I really like how this jumble of dividers looks. I like that they are not too thick, but they are very, very stiff. I like the colors. I like the artwork that I have chosen to scan and then print on tracing paper. And let me just say also here, now that I remember, that if you laminate tracing paper, which is semi-transparent, I have observed that um, the laminating, specifically the hot laminating process, actually makes the semi-transparent a little bit more transparent than the original tracing paper. I think this is because the inside of the laminating pouch, the, the part where it's a little bit rough and matte, that actually melts and turns into the adhesive that bonds everything together. And the sort of side effect of that is that it makes the semi-transparent tracing paper a little bit more transparent. And of course, you will not notice that in regular paper or other papers or card stocks that are opaque. But I noticed that when laminating tracing paper. Please let me know in the comments if you have also noticed this when you laminate tracing paper. 
I have been living with my current planner setup since July of this year and the search for this planner was my project for One Book July 2021 and I will link the playlist down below. And as I went along, I just tweak my system every now and then. And this list of sections and the order that I want them to be in is the latest tweak that I am making for my current planner. And in the end, I didn't really follow that list 100%. I decided to make some last minute changes to that plan. And I realized that I had two more dividers than what I actually needed. So I decided to not use these two. And here are the final dividers that I will be using in the order that I want them to go. I have here a little guide for affixing the tabs, for, for pasting the tabs onto the divider. I made this guide because in my experience of putting on tabs quite a few times, I have observed that if I made a mistake in placing one tab, the other tabs that I paste on using that previous tab as a guide will have that mistake carried over and that the rest of the tabs in the cascaded line will be off. So I decided not to do that. I decided not to let the actual tabs be the basis for the placement. Instead, the basis for the placement of each tab will be this simple guide right here that we just penciled in. And while putting all the tabs, I just continue to refer again to that list of sections that I have to make sure that I don't make a mistake. And finally, here is the finished set of laminated dividers, all tabbed and everything. The final step is to make sure the creases are sharp and that each tab is properly stuck onto the divider. And for that, I'm using my bone folder. This sticker paper is quite easy to peel off when stuck on a plastic surface. So if I ever need to change up my dividers, I don't have to redo everything. I can just peel off the tab and then put a new tab on. And these are the newly laminated old dividers that I will be using for my planner. Finally, the last element of my planner setup for 2022 is complete and I can finalize my planner for the incoming year. My next video will be a flip through of my setup of my planner for 2022. So please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you click on the notification bell so that you will get an alert as soon as that video is up. I hope you had fun watching this video and I hope you were able to get some ideas that you can use for your own planner. What dividers do you use for your planner? Let me know and let's talk in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.